everybody, this is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. I got a new vaporizer to show you. Okay, while I'm walking out there, this right here is the UPC 2, the main bubbler container. Stop for a second. Bam, and I'll show you everything. Okay. I just barely got it built. Turn it on once. It's a pretty sweet container. I got it at AutoZone. And it has four barbed fittings on it. Uh, well, it had three that came with it. These three right here. And then I put one right here on the lid. Just a pop-on lid. It's not a screw-on, but it doesn't matter because this container right here is under vacuum. And there's a gasket in here that seals it anyway, and it'll just suck it tighter. Um, but inside this container, pop this cap off what I have is some stainless steel wool as you can see and then hold on I'm gonna have to set you down while I pop this back on oh there goes my phone Alright, I got that cap popped back on there. So I got a shot of the sky there for a second. But, alright, got the, the little lid pop back on. This right here is the vinyl hose. It's a half inch OD by 3H ID. And then these, this is a half inch uh, Mel pipe thread fitting. Um, to a uh, 3 8 barb right there and all the rest of the fittings for the nip the uh, barb fittings are all 3 8 barbs um, and then what I have right here is it comes down to this T and I have the two vapor inlets so that I have enough airflow and vapor flow in there and then what I did is I just welded a little bracket right here. I pulled my carburetor off, made this bracket up, and then bolted it on there. And I have a, don't, uh, don't know if you can see that, but down there there's a gasket smushed in between there to seal it out. Um, and then here's my, that's my air intake, my secondary air intake that will control the air to fuel ratio. Um, these right here on the bottom, those are the air intakes to the vaporizer. And I have them clear up here above the container as you can see. And what that does is the air will be sucked through these two tubes. <clears throat> Go down, bubble through this gasoline, <coughs> be filtered, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> be filtered out through this stainless steel wool. And then come through these tubes down over here mix with more air and then go into the engine and it'll run. Um, I'm going to need to put two check valves right here, one on each one because... Michaela, please come over here. <clears throat> the reason that I need those two check valves is my little girl in her little car. Hi, can you please go up by the house? Um, I need the two check valves because when you have a backfire, um, it will send all that pressure back into the lines, go through the tank, and it'll try to blow fuel out these two hoses and squirt it out. Haven't had that happen yet, but it will happen. Uh, it's a guarantee. So you need check valves here to prevent the, the fuel from spraying out. Um, this stainless steel wool, this container is stuffed full of it. And that is the flashback arrester. There's no way you're going to get an explosion inside of there or an ignition. It'll go there and just boom, suppress it instantly. So, Kayla, please come here. Please come here. She's trying to make her way up onto the, uh, by the driveway. I need to get that re -poured. But anyway, sorry. Um, what I'm going to do also is, this is the fuel tank that comes, that, that came with the, uh, this tiller. 
It's an old John Deere tiller. And right here at the bottom is where the fuel comes out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a T on this line right here and, um, and then a needle valve, which is a valve that you can have it so that there's really fine flows through there. Um, I'm gonna tie it into the needle valve and adjust that needle valve just right so that it will trickle gasoline in as it's needed and keep this container um, at the level that it's at. So I'm not gonna use a float or anything like that because I have it stuffed with stainless steel. If I just use that needle valve and control the flow that way, it'll work out just fine. But I'll attempt to turn this on. Um, don't know how well I'm gonna do. I'll set this phone down. Hey Jake, can you hold this? Quick buddy boy. Perfect timing. Just try to get the tiller and me in the picture. I'm gonna try to attempt to start it, okay? Okay. we go and now it's shut down so what I'll do now is some time testing on it to see how long I can get it to run I'll measure out the amount of fuel and then get the run time um, I don't really have a way right now to test the rpms that it's at um, that the engines running at but what I can do is set it at a lower RPM, a medium, and a high RPM, and see how long it'll run. Um, and do like three runs at each level to see what I get, and then average the overall results out to see what the runtime is of this. Once you got it tuned in right, even with a cold vapor system, you can get um, a longer runtime. Like on my lawnmower, I averaged about 15 to 20 minutes more of a run time per cup. So, maybe it wasn't quite that much. More around 15, but 
um, yeah that's it pretty easy setup right there um, that stainless steel I'm actually the stainless steel wool I'm pretty impressed with it it's the really fine grade um, hey you guys share please you can see it right there this is the fine right here and then this one right here is the really coarse you got to be careful with this because that will slice your fingers open um, so as you can see I just got done putting it all together it took me about an hour to get everything all assembled all the holes drilled um, because when you get this particular thing they're actually all plugged you have to either snip the ends off or drill holes in the barb fittings the little barbs there the ends of the barbs to make it so that they'll work so all right well this is Tyson with fuel systems research and development there's my two little fighting kids they fight over that thing all the time but anyway uh, hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions please feel free to ask please rate comment wow my camera's not focusing rate comment and subscribe take care